most of my recent work uh, has been around uh, business analytics. How I define business analytics is really it has two components. Uh, one is uh, data analytics, another is decision analytics. So let me talk a little bit about that. So data analytics really deals with uh, how to get the data, how to clean it to make it useful, and then uh, how to do the predictive uh, models around that, econometric models, statistical models, and so on. And uh, then uh, we use the optimization models uh, to get the business decisions uh, or, or solve business problems out of it. That part is the decision analytics. So uh, in terms of the problems, I have been dealing with uh, uh, problems uh, in many different domains. I would like to talk some about which is uh, directly related to uh, Indian context. So we collected data uh, of uh, social media and, and I will be working uh, talking a lot about social media analytics uh, specifically. So we collected this data from 2014 uh, general election in India and uh, we collected around six month data uh, from the tweeters, uh, how people were talking, how the candidates were tweeting, how the parties were tweeting, how people were tweeting and so on. And the idea was to understand by looking at this uh, uh, social media data, can we say something about what is the overall impact? And also we wanted to say, uh, is there any spillover effect between party and candidates? So for example, if uh, both uh, party and candidates uh, do the negative campaigning, is it good? Or uh, they should take like one positive, one negative. So we try to analyze that and we, we find some very interesting uh, effect in there. Uh, for example, we see that uh, it's not always good to be both positive or both negative and uh, we have many other uh, interesting results in that. So that's that was directly in the Indian context. Now what we do is that we take that research further. So that was mostly data analytics. Now we get into decision analytics part, how businesses can take this kind of information to decide their marketing strategy. So for example, they need to find out the uh, key influencer. They have a limited budget and they need to find out who they can recruit uh, in the social media context so that the, their impact is most. Uh, and that's where we use sophisticated optimization models to solve that kind of problem. So that is one idea and I, I, I plan to continue working on that. I'm, I'm uh, looking at uh, some of the odd even policy which has been implemented uh, in Delhi uh, in terms of uh, the cars. So I'm looking at that and some other problems. Another area that I would like to talk about uh, is in uh, healthcare domain. So a lot of work is happening in US, India and many other emerging countries in the healthcare. And the, and the problem here is that what is the best way to uh, integrate data across different clinics, different hospitals. So we look at the uh, data from different uh, uh, hospitals, clinics as well as aggregators and we are trying to see that what is the best way to uh, exchange data from the perspective of uh, patients, which is the key here, the policy makers, they want to make sure that everybody is safe and as well as the hospitals and clinics and so on. So again, we, we both data analytics and decision analytics for those problems. Uh, the third um, uh, item, which is again very relevant to India is uh, retailing, uh, especially multi-channel retailing. So what I'm trying to look at is that what happens when the firms start moving from uh, the, the physical channel to online channel or the mobile channel. And uh, there are many research problems um, are there. We have collected data from one of the largest retailers in uh, US. We are also in the process of collecting data from India and China. I'm visiting China and then uh, we, will, uh, we already have some lined up uh, retailers there. So we are trying to look at that how firms can uh, optimize their strategy when they work in multiple channel, for example, how to do the assortment and so on. And then uh, finally, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, some other areas and one of uh, them mainly is that how does this ad firms evolving, how the advertising on web and mobile evolving. So I recently wrote a book uh, where I talked about the, the future of uh, mobile ads and the web ads. And essentially the whole idea is that the whole ad world is moving on web and mobile, especially mobile. Uh, so, so how can firms uh, optimize their strategy? Uh, we worked with uh, one company in Boston uh, uh, called Chitika where they do, uh, they are mostly like an ad aggregator and the ad firm. So I'm looking at many different both data analytics and decision analytics problem from the perspective of uh, ad firms, advertisers, as well as uh, large companies like Google, how, how it's going to play out 
and I think that uh, that area is really evolving and big. So I, I hope to have many interesting uh, business problems that uh, uh, I'll be working on in the future. And of course, you can see more about my other research uh, at my website.